In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appear in the year 2017. It's an advanced level problem. Let's go ahead and understand the problem statement. Though the, there is nothing in their problem statement, it says that we have a i, which is a summation k equal to 1 to 98, and we have to perform the integration k to k plus 1, the respective function. And we need to find out the which option is correct. So let's go ahead and find out the right option. So first, we consider that i, right? So let's go ahead and consider the integration i. So now here we see that we need to add each and every term after performing after performing the integrations. Now it is uh, obviously not the right way, right? So there should be some trick, right? So let's go ahead and solve this using some conceptual trick. So here first we go ahead and write down that as k equal to 1 to 98 and sk. Sk we stands for that partial sum. That means that the uh, sk is actually the integration, which is actually defined as integration k to k plus 1 and k plus 1 divided by x into x plus 1. That's very really obvious. Now here notice that that our k or our x always lies between k to k plus 1 for this particular integration sk and k is lies between 1 to 19. So our aim is to take care of that some bound. Can we generate some bound for that sk? Let's go ahead. So here first we consider right the difference between k plus 1 and x into x plus 1 that difference as you see. Just go ahead and perform the basic arithmetic and see that it will be k minus x into x into x plus 1. Now notice that it is obvious that x is greater than k because we are talking about we are talking about the domain for our analysis is k to k plus 1. So k is less than or equal to x that means x is greater than or equal to k. So therefore k minus x is less than 0 right. So therefore this one is less than 0 which imply that that k plus 1 divided by x into x plus 1 is less than or equal to 1 by x. So we are talking about this stuff the intrigant. Go ahead and take the different summation. So as I said before, it's a tricky problem, right? We have to go ahead and think, right? So here, if we go ahead and calculate, it becomes that x is actually less than k plus 1. Now, as x is less than k plus 1, so therefore, k plus 1 minus x, that means the numerator is actually greater than 0. So therefore, this difference is greater than 0, which implies that the intrigant k plus 1 and x into x plus 1 is greater than 1 by x plus 1. So if we combine last two relation, we get that our intrigant is lies between the reciprocal of x plus 1 and x. So this is the fast tricky step and the complicated step because we have to think this problem that the intrigant lies between 1 by x plus 1 and 1 by x. If we can't, then the problem cannot be solved. Okay, that's it. So now let's proceed. We apply the integrations, right? Why? Because we know that if fx is less than or equal to gx, then a to b fx dx is less than or equal to a to b gx dx. So therefore, it implies that, that if the inequality is true after performing the integration, inequality sign is preserved. So therefore, we, it can be written as that uh, if we apply the integration, the relation holds good, which is the direct application of the integration inequality. Now, what is that middle integration? That means that k to k plus 1 and this part. So this is actually sk. So we learn that sk lies between two typical integration, 1 by x plus 1 and 1 by x with k to k plus 1. You can understand. It's a very straightforward calculation. Now, our next job is to evaluate that two limit integration, right? Like k 1 by x plus 1 and 1 by x. Let's perform that consider that k to k plus 1 1 by x plus 1 which is definitely log of x plus 1 with the appropriate limit if i put the appropriate limit it will be log k plus 2 minus log k applying the property that log a minus b is log a minus log b is equal to log a by log b we can easily get it as log of k plus 2 divided by log of k plus 1 Go for the last integration that's 1 by x. It is the same ln x from k to k plus 1, which gives you as log k plus 1 divided by k. And hence, 
sk it lies between log k plus 2 by k plus 1 to log k plus 1 by k that's it so this is our first job why we do so because here see that the options in this option we are not required to find the exact value of i we need to find out that bound it is less than something greater than something which option is correct so that's why we are trying to find out the bound of that limit so that's why we find now the bound of sk in the last step is remaining now so now we need to apply this summation because that is i so let's apply the summation uh, throughout that uh, inequality now the mean between that summation of whatever we obtained right this is actually the required i now if we able to compute the this to sum right my job is done so now we try to evaluate the these two like summation k equal to 90 log of k plus 1 divided by k another one as well so first we consider this sum now how we do that so let's go ahead so if k is equal to 1 it will be log of uh, 3 by 2 then log of 4 by 3 then so on it will be 99 by 98 for k equal to 97 and k equal to 98 it will be 100 by 99 and everywhere the log is applied which is straightforward let's go ahead and complete the summation now if we are able to complete the summation now we notice something very interesting what's that see that here we can now apply the log properties we know that log a plus log b is equal to log of a b so therefore sum of all the logs can be related as multiplied by all the numbers right so let's write down that property now notice that 3 3 get cancel 4 and the next one will get 4 cancel 99 cancel this 99 8 will be cancelled by the previous one so therefore it will be log of 100 by 2 and that is log 50 so that's why we obtain the value of this particular sum now it's left for the last one another sum we have to perform the similar way let's go ahead and write the sum and with the similar operation we get it as log of 99 see that 2 to get cancelled 3 will be cancelled 98 cancelled 97 will be cancelled by the previous one so therefore at the end we get it that our i is lies between log 50 and log 99 so we get some answer already so let's go ahead that as i lies between log 50 to 99 so we can easily rewrite as i is less than equal to 99 and i is greater than equal to 50. we just actually uh, rewrite the inequality in new ways let's go ahead so therefore based on the first one it is easily provable that option b is correct that's it now say that is there are any other option correct yeah i don't know but let's go ahead and understand that log 50 see that uh, that option c and d may be correct may be wrong i don't know because this, i we are unable to compute that log 50 values because we don't have calculator but we can understand that this log 50 can be rewritten as in some particular way so that that 49 by 50 term is obtained that's our main okay. so we are performing this step to match that 49 by 50 so we go ahead and try to compute that ln 50 now see that this ln 50 can be written as as minus 1 by 50 because 50 can be written as 1 by 50 whole to the power inverse and then inverse will come out so it became plus so that's the concept right and it's a property so now 1 by 50 can be rewritten as 1 minus 49 by 50 now to get that 49 by 50 we just go ahead in this approach now let's recall one formula we know that the expansion of the Maclaurin series or Taylor series expansion of log 1 minus x is minus x minus x square by 2 minus x square by 3 and so on. So therefore minus ln x everything will be positive. Now notice that for positive x this part is positive. So therefore we can conclude 
that ln 1 minus x is always greater than or equal to x because it is x plus something. So if something is removed, so therefore that it will be greater than. So therefore, from this corollary, we can prove that that log 1 minus 49 by 50 is actually this particular value is actually greater than of 49 by 50. So therefore, i is greater than 49 by 50. And that's why option D is correct. So therefore, for this particular problem, option B and option D are correct. And that's it. So it's a tricky problem. In the first step, if we don't able to consider that, it's very difficult to process. You may think in some other way. If so, then it's fine. Let's try for that. So if you find that tricks, right, that you can solve it in some other way or some idea, right, please uh, put it in your comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe so that it will be a boost for ourselves. And we understand that our effort makes you learn something extra, right? So uh, that's it from for our side for this particular video. We'll see you in next one. And until that, keep learning and happy learning. So if you uh, put some valuable comments and a valuable method to solve this particular problem, so using your method and using your name, right, we will uh, put that your solution in our video in next time. That's it for it. See you in next video. Thank you.